Hi, I'm Bob Berge. I've been a motor coach operator driving private charters and retail tours across the U.S. and Canada for almost 20 years. In my last video, I gave you some ideas on how to communicate with your passengers using the audio-visual system on your motor coach. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to connect your phone to the audio-visual system on Prevo H345 motor coaches and on MCI J4500 motor coaches. We'll cover exactly what you need and how to do it. Although we're covering just models from MCI and Prevo, it should be pretty, pretty much the same on other modern motor coaches that have an AV system installed that includes external inputs. As I was saying, we're talking about uh, communicating using the monitors in your motor coach. This is an example of what it looks like uh, when you're sharing your smartphone screen through Keynote or PowerPoint connected to the motor coach. It comes through on all the monitors so everyone can see. This is an example of a screen I showed you before that is one of the ways that I use almost every day to share information with my passengers as they board the coach. It's, an, it's a nice welcome screen, including the date, my name, the company name, the coach number, and Wi-Fi information. As I said, this will apply to MCI coaches as well as Prevo coaches, uh, the two most uh, common and popular models, but it will likely apply to other brands also. This is an example of the Enhanced Media Center on an MCI J4500. Um, we'll talk about that more in just a bit. This is what it looks like on a Prevo. Uh, in, in the case of the MCI uh, Media Center, the Enhanced Media Center, that's mounted on the pillar just behind the driver's left shoulder. Or if you're sitting in the front row of the coach, uh, behind the driver, it's just to the left in front of you, right by the shelf at the front seat. So it's readily accessible. And the same thing on the Prevo, it's also in the front row, uh, right behind the driver on a shelf. Uh, you can see it circled in red here in relation to the driver. Now some of the newer Prevos, the brand new ones, have it underneath the shelf in the front row, but it still looks very similar and has the same functionality as this. There are basically just two things you need to connect your smartphone to the AV system on the motor coach. One is a cable, and it might be an HDMI cable, as shown in this photograph. Uh, in fact, that's the case for most of the newer motor coaches. Or it might be a VGA cable, as shown here. This is a close-up of the VGA plug, which would be on each end of the cable, just like this. Um, an HDMI cable would have an HDMI plug on each end of the cable. And you need an adapter. The adapter goes from the cable into your phone. This is showing uh, a lightning plug uh, for the iPhone, the Apple iPhone. Uh, if you have uh, an Android, you might need a USB-C plug on the end instead of the lightning, but it looks very similar and does the same thing. Uh, two different adapters. The best ones uh, for iPhone usage are made by Apple. Some of the third-party ones are known to be finicky and, and troublesome, so I would strongly recommend you stick with uh, Apple products for iPhones. I don't have experience with Androids. I know it can be done, and there are adapters for Androids also. Um, so the principles are going to be the same as what we're covering here for iPhones, uh, just a slightly different uh, version of the plug. These are readily available on Amazon. Uh, or Best Buy, or a number of other sites online. The uh, VGA version on a Prevo looks like this as far as the uh, inputs. It's, uh, there are three different plugs in this input set here. On the left is where the VGA plug plugs in, the cable from the, uh, the phone to uh, the system here. The, the VGA cable that I just showed you plugs in there on the left. In the center is a USB-A plug that's used just for power in this instance, in this example. It doesn't transmit anything else other than power from the bus to the phone. So it keeps your phone powered up while you are plugged into the VGA cable if you need the extra power. Uh, the third plug to the right there is a stereo mini plug. That's for audio. 
from your phone, you would need a, uh, a separate cable for that with stereo mini plugs on each end. Um, that's not necessarily needed for what we're talking about in this video, um, unless you're playing movies or uh, music from your phone that has video and audio in the same application. The VGA plug does not transmit audio, where an HDMI plug that we mentioned earlier transmits audio and video. So you wouldn't have to worry about using that stereo mini plug if you're connecting with an HDMI cable. The, uh, you can see the VGA plug plugged in here. The adapter then, as I said, goes into your iPhone. And I mount my iPhone right by my side, right to the left of the steering wheel um, on a MagSafe connector. It's magnetic, holds my phone, charges my phone, and uh, you know connects to the VGA cable or HDMI cable, depending which adapter and cable I'm using, uh, which again depends on which coach I'm using. I should have mentioned also that the VGA cables are used on older Prevos that have uh, video inputs, mostly... Uh, in my experience, models from the year 2014, 2015, and 2016. Starting in 2017, Prevo switched to HDMI, uh, which is a much better, higher resolution system. And, and as I said, that carries sound as well as video. This is what the HDMI input looks like on a Prevo. Uh, you can see the HDMI plug there instead of the VGA that we saw in the previous picture. The other two plugs are the same and not really needed uh, other than the power plug if you need to supply power uh, to your phone while you're using the HDMI plug. This is an HDMI cable that goes into that plug that we just showed you and again it connects to the phone same way as I showed you before. Um, on the MCI coaches, the Enhanced Media Center, the HDMI plug plugs right into the center port there. The very top port is for the uh, stereo mini plug, uh, same as on the Prevo that we showed you previously, and the USB port uh, at the bottom there for power. Um, and in some cases, that will also transmit audio from your smartphone. So it has basically the same three ports on either model coach. MCI started putting this system or offering as an option on, on MCI coaches starting this, uh, back in 2014. So again, most newer coaches will have this. Even though it was an option, uh, in my experience, most companies included this on their coaches, at least the ones that had a little bit of foresight. And um, so that should be available on most newer coaches. There again is the HDMI connector or adapter. It looks just like uh, the VGA, except that the plug is different. And the, uh, you can see at the end there, an HDMI plug goes in there. The other plug, that little slot to the right, is for a lightning cable. In other words, if you need to supply power to your phone while you're using this system, plug a lightning cable into that little slot there to the right. Um, connect the other end to the USB plug for power that each of these uh, ports have and then you've got power that's being supplied to the phone uh, in addition to the connection for the HDMI cable. When you're using video for any length of time from your smartphone it will drain the battery much more quickly than it would drain otherwise so it's always a good idea to have power supplied if you want to keep your battery charged up while you're using it connected to the system. And this just shows both cables plugged into the adapter. Then the next uh, step is to turn the system on, make sure you have the settings correct on the uh, media center in the motor coach. This will vary between years and between models. Uh, the Prevo, older Prevos, uh, use a system that looks similar to this. In some cases, if you're using the VGA connection, you may not need to do anything here. Uh, it will, it, just plugging the cable in, in some cases, turns the monitors on and your your screens will pop right up uh, on the, the bus monitors throughout the bus without doing anything here. 
That's the way the uh, VGA system on the coach that I drive most frequently right now works. On some newer ones, you'll need to press the video in button where my index finger is in this photograph. And that should be all you need to get the image on the screen. That will probably also apply to uh, Prevo models that have the HDMI connection. Just hit the video in button. This is uh, the one of the radios that's used on, or the amplifiers that's used on the newer Prevos. Uh, pretty much the same lineup of buttons. It's a different, slightly different system with some additional capabilities. But hit the video in button, and that should activate the HDMI ports, and you can share throughout the bus. On MCI, MCI has not been as consistent in my experience from one year to another, so you may have to fiddle just a bit depending on which model you're in. But again, there's uh, to the top right there of the photo, there's a vid button that turns the video on and allows you to connect to the HDMI. You should see HDMI on the screen like you see it here if the input is active from the HDMI cable. You may have to press the video button twice to get to that screen on some models. Um, and we may have to do some more research, or you may have to do some more research if the driver doesn't know how to activate that. But basically, that's, it's relatively simple to get to that screen. This is just an overview of how I have my setup. The, uh, the phone, when I'm using a keynote presentation, so it shows the screen that's being transmitted currently on the iPhone. All I, do is, all I have to do is touch it either on the phone or on my watch, my Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, that, that's part of the ecosystem here that makes it really nice to do presenting like this um, when you're in the coach. So you don't even have to be by the phone if you're standing up uh, talking to your passengers or whatever. Multiple ways to keep the screens moving while you're on the road. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe on the buttons below. And if you have some other ideas or questions about what we've talked about here, please list them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. And stay tuned for my next video. My next video will explain how I add Bluetooth to the radio on my motor coach.